Well, hello everyone. Hope everybody's having a good week so far this week. Um, today we're going to paint a um, smallmouth bass pattern. And this is a um, Janet Craft KO 148 to 5.8. And we're going to paint him in the smallmouth bass pattern. I already went over him with um, golden titanium white. And then I went over him with some golden um, iridescent pearl. And then now we're going to do his belly in this um, pewter gray that I mixed. I mixed it with some pearl white. I don't know if you can see that. I mixed it with some pearl white and some golden titanium white to lighten it up a little bit. And we're just going to spray this on his belly. And, of course, never fails when I go to film. It doesn't want to spray. I'll find that here in a little bit. There we go. And sometimes my airbrushes just do not want to cooperate. got some action. There. Got that. Now we'll do this. Uh, there. That's what we want. We want it to kind of drift up a little bit. There. Just like that. Yep. That's what we want on that. So we'll clean this out real quick. And we're not going to heat set that because I want these colors that I'm going to add to blend with that. So the next color we're going to go with Createx Pearl Lime. Lime Green. lime green just like that and that's what we want right there so then we're gonna do um, wicked detail sepia so and we don't want to go very dark just real light with this I don't want it to be super dark.
We want it just like that and let him have some of that greenish tint to him. Anyway, but you kind of want him to look like that a little bit. This is trying to get that sepia even. Can be a pain in the hiney. Sorry about that. I sprayed one side of the bars off camera. I thought I had it going, so. There we go. There's some bars. Um, I want that one to come come up just a little bit higher. There. But anyway, there's his bars on this little small mouth. Yeah, he's messed up, but I fixed him. So, off camera. But anyway, here's your little small mouth action, little pattern. Looks pretty good.
I'm going to kind of touch these up right here a little bit. There. I like that. Alright. So anyway, so let's do his little deals around his face. We're not going to do these very dark either. So we'll... I just taped this up from a stencil from Insane Custom Stencil for this. And we're just going to do these real light. Just real faint. Don't want them just real dark. So, but always make sure you're touching that eye. There. Then you can take and just shade in that eye a little darker and just kind of tile that in. Make it look like that. Then we're going to switch sides. Always wipe your stencil off. Alright, so that one, yeah. So, we're going to take and put that there and just real light. We just want that kind of faint. We don't want it super dark. There's a lot of times I like to make that too dark on these. There, just like that. And then we'll just go around his eyes. all that in right there then you can have that and to fix that where it marked it up and everything I just sprayed gold createx uh, createx pearlized gold over him and then after I sprayed the gold and dried it I went back over it with sepia and that gave me that color if y'all like that color better so we're going to take and darken up his back just a little bit with this. Just over the shoulders and let it fall down. Oh, in case y'all are wondering, um, this is my Sparmax DH-103 and it has a .3 needle in it. And I'll switch back and forth between my my badger and this a lot. Because I really like this airbrush. It sprays really, really good. But I really like this airbrush. And then there, that's just to tie everything in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out just a little bit. And then all smallies, I hadn't seen them yet, but I, I've noticed all smallies have a little bit of a greenish colored back. So we're not going to, we're going to use this um, Wicked Detail Moss Green, but we're just going to go real light over his back. Not heavy. Just something like that just to where you kind of see it I'm just gonna pull it out here and make sure I got it even there all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spritz a little bit of gold over him from a distance and this will kind of give him that flashback, but it won't cover anything up. So I'll show you what he looks like.
this will give him some flash back to him. So, but there. That's what that looks like. But we're not done yet. Y'all are probably thinking, holy crap. But, oh, it's not a very long video. So, then what we're going to do, we're going to take this golden iridescence. And we're going to give him that shine, that sheen that they have from when you pull them out of the water. That's pretty cool effect also, over that gold. Kind of brightens them up. There, there's that shimmer, shine. I sprayed it back over that gray. Gives it a good look. So, anyway, but that's how I paint a smallmouth pattern. Yeah, and I showed y'all how to fix the, the mishap. Um, I mean, if you ever get to a point and you get it scuffed up or something, you can always find a color that kind of goes with your pattern and a lot of times you can just go over that with that color and fix it and then go back to painting go back to painting what you were painting but anyway i hope y'all are enjoying my videos i hope y'all are learning something um anyway if you like what i'm doing you like what you're seeing please just remember hit the like button and subscribe i mean we're we're getting close to 200 subscribers so we're getting there we're we're slowly but steadily headed for the 1000 subscriber mark which is everybody's ultimate goal but if i can do that man it'll be awesome but I'll just keep putting out more videos, so hope y'all enjoy. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Well, everyone, here's that small mouth done. So, we got him all finished. But, I stuck some red eyes on him. And there's that gray belly. He turned out pretty good. There's that green back on him. So, but anyway, there he is finished. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.